Creed 3 was one of my most anticipated movies of 2023, and I gotta say, it did not disappoint. Going into this movie, I knew it would be Michael B. Jordan's debut as a director, so I wasn't expecting much. And also, when going into the movie, I knew that he took inspiration from anime. And I didn't think that would work, because mostly anime and live action, they just don't mix. It's, you're mixing a cartoon with live action. I don't know how you would get that right in any way. Is that? They're totally different. I was expecting okay fight scenes, and I was expecting Jonathan Majors to carry most of the film, and I would have been fine with that. That would have been a good film. But what I got was a masterclass in directing. Whoa, oh, brother, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh. now. You got too much dip on your chip. When he said that he took inspiration from anime, he wasn't lying. He took all the best parts of anime and adapted it very well to live action. I did not expect this from Michael B. Jordan at all. As a director, he has a lot of chops, especially in the fight scenes. How he uses every single shot to his advantage, how he moves the camera with the punches, how he moves the camera to certain positions on the body. You just have to go watch the movie to see how Michael uses the camera to convey an anime type of feel in live action. It's actually incredible how well he did this. No, I just, I just, it's just been, a, it's been a long fight. It's been a long fight and I just had to have a warrior spirit and that's all, so I'm just And the story as well was amazing. He didn't write the film, but I'm guessing he had some input as most directors do, but this movie was written by Ryan Coogler, the original director of Creed 1, and they did a great job with the story. This was the first movie that didn't feature Rocky, and they did a great job. They made Creed his own character. They delved deep into his backstory, into his flaws, and it just worked all together. There was no bad acting performance in my eyes. All the actors and characters, they felt like they were needed for something in the movie. There was no dead air. It was always suspenseful, and you never really knew who to root for. Damien was a character that was done wrong, but at the same time, Creed was done the same way. He just got off a little bit better at the end of the day. Michael B. Jordan surprised me a lot in this movie. I always thought his acting was okay, but here he brings it up a level and he's actually really great. And Jonathan Majors, he never disappoints. He's just a great actor and he's always bringing something to a role, something different. But you can also tell with this movie that he brought something new yet again to his performance. The layers of the story and the metaphors that this movie created in itself is outstanding and it is in contention for one of the best Rocky movies and in contention for one of the best boxing movies and right now is the best movie of 2023. I can't give it a 10 out of 10 yet because I have to let things breathe but for now it's a 9 out of 10 and I really enjoyed myself in the theater. By the way I saw it on IMAX and there's a lot of movies coming out this month and next month. It's, it's heating up for movies and I'm going to be reviewing as many as I can so feel free to subscribe and leave a like. Hey baby girl down your window I love to see your hair flow when the wind blows even if the money been slow, to you it don't matter cause you still gon' ride with me.